I shot this video making buffalo chicken dip about three days ago and the hot sauce had so much sodium, it was ridiculous. I wound up scrapping the entire video because I really can't put something out that I don't 100% believe in. Everything about the dish was spot on except for the sodium, but I eliminated over 60% of the hot sauce which reduced about 50% of the sodium. This dip is very easy to make for a game day dip, an appetizer, or hey, even for you guys out there who love hot wings. If you are trying to save some calories, this is for you. Many people make this dip with full fat dressing, full fat cheese, and full fat sour cream. We are going to make it so healthy you could eat it at every meal for your protein. I'm eliminating the dressing altogether because I have cooked this several different ways and I honestly think the ranch takes away from that good buffalo chicken flavor. I would say if you do have to have the ranch, go with the fat free or spread on the blue cheese lightly. We are going to use fat free cheese and I know you guys are thinking, ooh, it's dry, but since it's going to be mixed in, it will get moisture from the other ingredients, so it's really going to be good. We are going to substitute the fat free Greek yogurt for the sour cream. And look at the breakdown on these two. First, look at the calorie difference. Whoa, fat, gross. Carbs, eh, they're about the same. Protein, oh, kill them. You can start flexing right about now. I mean, I would, but I really don't want to bust any seams since my shirt sleeves are a little tight. Now for the ingredients list. Two 12 ounce cans of cooked chicken and water. Or if you want to save some money and reduce the sodium even further, go ahead and boil your chicken. Shred it yourself, making three cups. One fourth cup hot sauce, one teaspoon cayenne pepper, and one and one half cup fat-free Greek yogurt. One cup fat-free mozzarella cheese, and one fourth cup 2% or full fat cheddar to make a nice top because fat-free cheese just doesn't melt that well since it just doesn't have any fat. And then to give it that nice pop on the top, Go with these green onions, and then if you want to, you could even spread around a few blue cheese crumbles. Now we're gonna put it in the oven on 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. Now we're gonna chop the celery into four inch pieces and this will make for great healthy dipping sticks. Now that our dip's finished, we're gonna let it rest for five minutes, top it off with some green onions, and hey, now it's ready to be served. Yeah, dog. Hey, dude, you just got the chicken dip done? Dude, I did. I'm gonna top it off with some green onions. Let me go ahead and get one bite. Oh, yeah. The original buffalo chicken dip is packed with everything no one needs. Saturated fat, which leads to heart disease, and sodium that is out of this world. We took the calories from 186 calories all the way down to 121 per serving. We took the fat from 13 grams down to two, and most importantly, we took the saturated fat from 6.5 grams down to one. This is what clogs arteries and contributes to heart disease. We took the carbs from two grams up to four, and the protein actually went up three grams due to the Greek yogurt. The sodium is stupid high in the original recipe at 1100 milligrams. We actually took this down to about 700 milligrams uh, just by taking out some of the hot sauce. The original recipe had three-fourths of a cup of hot sauce, and we took that down to one-fourth of a cup. And then we just added in some cayenne pepper due to the lack of hot sauce. And then if you wanted to reduce this another 300 milligrams per serving, you could go ahead and boil your own chicken and then shred it yourself versus buying canned chicken. But we use canned chicken just for the convenience. Guys, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and comment below.